we can demonstrate that Le Chatelier's principle applies to equilibrium changes when there are gases present as well with the interaction between nitrogen dioxide and dinitrogen tetraoxide where we have produced our nitrogen dioxide in the reaction between copper and nitric acid over here that then goes on to produce copper nitrate, nitrogen dioxide and water. We then isolate the nitrogen dioxide gas that is this red brown color of gas that we have over here and we can then see that it establishes an equilibrium between these two gases where the one is colorless and the other one is red or brown or a red brown combination. Now since we can see that the forward reaction here is exothermic we can then say that if we add this to a hot water bath if we increase the heat of this reaction we are going to force this reaction to favor the direction that takes in heat, the endothermic direction. So by adding it into a hot water bath, we expect a reverse reaction to be favored, which produces a more dark red or brown color. And we can see that when I do this here, we can see that by adding it into the solution, we can see that the color change favors the reverse reaction, which makes it a darker red or brown color and we can see that by comparing the difference here between these two and we can see that the one that has been in the hot water bath is slightly darker than the other. Now this can also be reversed by adding it now to a cold water bath because we know that a cold water bath is going to remove heat from the system and therefore force the reaction to counter by favoring the forward direction, the exothermic direction that adds heat and so we would expect a more colorless or we'd expect this gas to go a lighter shade of red brown um, again keep in mind that whenever we add something into a cold water bath we are also slowing the rate of reaction because there's now less energy available for reactions so that change is going to occur over a slightly longer period of time so while we leave that in the cold water bath we can already see that there is or has been a change in that this one is now a slightly lighter shade of red-brown because we have produced more colorless gas by favoring the forward reaction. The other change that we know we can make to gases is that we can change the volume of the container in which those gases are found. In this reaction here, we can see that nitrogen dioxide takes up two more, makes two molecules or two moles of space where dinitrogen tetraoxide only takes up one mole of space. So we can imagine that when we increase the pressure on this system, when we decrease the volume, basically compress the syringe, we're going to increase the pressure, which means that there is now less space available. And Le Chatelier's principle says that this reaction is going to counter that by favoring the reaction that produces fewer molecules, which in this case we can see is the forward reaction. Also note here that there are going to be two changes. There's going to be an initial change. The initial change here is obviously going to be that there is now the same number of molecules in a smaller space. So the initial change is that the concentration will increase and it will become darker. And then after that change, if you pay attention, you can see very quickly that it does become lighter or more colorless. So here we go. You can see the initial change shows a darker gas form and then after that, it becomes lighter and clearer as time progresses because there's less space available so the reaction favors the direction that produces fewer molecules. The opposite of this is also true. If I now increase the volume of this container there is now more space available. More space being available means that we would now have more molecules being produced so we're going to favor the reverse reaction. The reverse reaction here produces nitrogen dioxide which is a red brown color again note that there will be an initial change here first the initial change is that there's more space therefore a smaller concentration or a lower concentration so we will initially see the color the color get slightly weaker or dimmer and then we will see it favor the reverse reaction that produces a more red brown color so we can see here the initial change there and then as we favor the reverse reaction we see that color gets slightly darker. Temperature changes are very difficult to observe, so it's difficult to show here, uh, but it's important to understand that a volume change is always going to have two effects. The first is that there's an initial concentration change, and the second is 
the favoring of the direction that produces more or less molecules depending on the change in space provided.